One of the reasons that I want to make films in the first place is because um, I love telling stories, I love making music, and uh, I love the visual element, and I love playing with others. So uh, film is kind of one-stop shopping for everything I want to do. Rose is the story of this beautiful young woman named Rose, go figure, who a uh, recent mental hospital graduate has her own cable access puppet show out of her little tiny shithole loft in downtown Los Angeles. However, it's now 48 hours into the zombie apocalypse, so she's going round the clock, 24 hours a day, running rescue stations, doing cheerful skits, trying to keep everybody's spirits up. She's like Radio Free Europe, basically, uh, trying to keep everybody's hopes alive and trying to keep the zombies from busting in the door downstairs, coming up and eating her. I hired an amazing young actress named Chase McKenna to play the title role. Uh, she's charming and adorable and uh, extremely good with guns and baseball bats, can juggle uh, f machetes and flaming batons, et cetera, et cetera, while riding a unicycle. Kid's all right. And uh, yeah, she's gonna nail the shit out of this role and I'm really excited to work with her. The musical numbers are all integrated into the film as performances in Rose's puppet show. Working with my production partner, Jane Hamilton, uh, we are pulling the puppets together, we pulled a lot of the music together, and uh, we're really excited to shoot this thing. Then there's this film called Number One. This is a project that Cody and I are developing with director Andrew Cash, who did uh, Never Sleep Again, The Elm Street Legacy, which was this phenomenal documentary that I was lucky enough to be a part of. This is a really cool story that I've had in my head for a really long time, and I'm uh, very excited to be working it out now. Um, that takes place in a haunted mental ward and involves uh, a massacre that uh, most likely has extremely unpleasant supernatural causes. And the first response team that goes in there to find out what sort of hell has broken loose. I'm not gonna tell you a lot more about this project. Uh, at this particular time, but you'll be hearing more about it soon, and it's something that I'm really, really digging and that we're writing right now.